Hello everybody and welcome back to On Point HQ and we're at the desk, we're doing, what we're we doing? We're doing a bit of kit bashing, this may come as no surprise to many people, but I've had an idea and I want to see if I can make it. What am I talking about? So, past couple of videos have featured my winter Germans based around Stalingrad and this morning I was having a, a bit of a flick through the armies of Germany book and um, I realised that my winter germans don't include my favorite <laughs> my favorite weapon in bolt action and that's a flamethrower so i thought right let's see if i can make one now i've actually i've kit bashed quite a few flamethrowers for my marines and also my my late war sort of european based um or normandy based germans but i've never thought about making one for my uh, winter germans um now what, what prompted this was I was very lucky. So this, actually I'll just start with the pieces that I'm going to use rather than get into the, the actual flamethrower. So I've, I've already been on, on the hunt. I've been foraging around various bits boxes and I think I found the bits and pieces that I'm going to need. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the bits and pieces, go away and build it and then go away and paint it. Um, in the past I've just shown sort of completed plain grey plastic kit bashes. I don't think you can... You can don't really get to see the full effect until it's painted um but that that's the format this video is going to take so here we go Let me just mess around with the um the focus on the camera so this is going to be the base so this is just a bog standard winter german um body i like the pose always running um it's gonna be an action pose for this for this chat with a flamethrower so very very much standard um the arms i'm going to use so what i've got what i need to do is change this STG 44 into some form of rudimentary looking um, flamethrower. That's going to involve a lot of uh, craft knife work and possibly green stuff. Just to, I'm not, I'm not too bothered about the overall shape as long as it looks sort of flamethrower and tube esque. If that's the correct, <laughs> the correct terminology, I'm not too bothered about whether it's accurate or not. Um, but I found this pair of arms in the um, in the, the, the winter German box. So they're going to look like that, if you can see that. So not, not, no work to do on the left arm. The right arm is going to involve a little bit of, um, well, quite a bit of work, actually, if I'm going to, <laughs> if I'm going to turn that into some form of flamethrower sort of nozzle pipe thing. But I'm going to get to that in a second. The main thing for me, though, is I found this. Yay! So what's this? This is from um, an Imperial Guard the Games Workshop heavy weapons kit. Was it heavy? No, it's just, I think it was just a standard infantry infantry whatever the imperial guard are these days i don't know but you can have flame through a big big flames with them and these tanks are absolutely perfect like i said i'm not i'm not going for 100 historical accuracy uh, with this kit bash i just want some something to look like a flamethrower so i'm using these um obviously the um uh, the skulls will have to go i'm not having skulls on my germans um but the rest of it is looking looking fine and the last piece is this. So I'm going to use the bit of sort of pipe there. That, that's from an old, an old Revell helicopter. My dad gave me a bunch of bits and pieces left over from when he made one. So I'm going to use that. That will be attached to that somehow. And then it'll also be attached to that. So that's the plan. There are the bits and pieces. So not, not many bits and pieces really Really used. I need to go and find a head and probably, probably some equipment, um, but not an awful lot of pieces to it. Hopefully, it's going to work. It may not. Um, if it doesn't, this video probably won't be released, but hopefully, it won't come to that. So, what I'm going to do is go away, um, build the flamethrower, come back, and show you what I've done. So, I shall see you all in a little bit. And welcome back and that's the that's the figure built and that, that didn't take very long at all so what I'm gonna do is mess with the camera so we can see exactly what has been done so there we go so it went together really really quite well so you see there it's a bit difficult to see because it's just gray plastic at the moment um, That most of the assault rifle has been has been filed down. It's still a bit rough. Needs to do. It's still a, a need to wait for this for the green stuff etc. to fully dry before I start working on it a bit more. But the um, 
sort of the firing tube, the firing nozzle, that's sorted. And it, it, it just involved a bit of um, you know, really, really hacking it down um, just to get rid of that assault rifle <coughs> shape. But I think that's worked quite well. Like I say, it's still a bit rough, but so I need to go in with a file and just to tie it up a bit. Um, the, the actual um, flame canisters, so they, um, they've been filed down and there's those skulls removed. And then just a small bit of pipe to connect the um, the nozzle to the, the tanks. A bit of green stuff on there where there's, there's still a few joins um, and on the sides as well. Maybe we'll see that, there we go. But overall it went together remarkably, remarkably well. Um, really happy with how that went together I can say I think all in all there's about 20 minutes work there hey <laughs> really rather rather I'm rather chuffed with myself as I am rather prone to saying but that's got to come out really well so what I'm gonna do is wait for that to fully dry with the green stuff tidy it up and then I'm going to start painting it so next part of the video will be the fully completed painted and based flamethrower so I shall see you in a little bit Welcome back and it's the next day and it's finished. Let's have a look at what, what, what I've done. So the last section of the video it was just showing the, the finished build. I was really quite happy with um, how it turned out so I went away did a bit of tidying up and I've painted it. So there we have one fully completed Stalingrad German flamethrower. And I am really very, very happy with how this has turned out. Um, pretty much spot on how I how I wanted it to look. Um, just very, very happy. Very, very, very simple to um, to paint as well. Uh, in the last video, there was a, a very brief painting guide uh, to how I paint my my winter Germans, um, and I've used exactly the exactly the same techniques, exactly the same paints on this dude as I, I did on all my other ones so we've got the Vallejo field grey for the field coat uh, for the um, for the great coat <coughs> um, the whitewashed helmet using the technique that I outlined in that video um, I used dark um, Vallejo dark rubber for the the actual flame throw itself I've applied some of the Vallejo um, weathering pigments to both the base and his, 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 his uniform or his great coat just to give it that dirty dusty look that I'm after but I am very very happy with how that's turned out so I think what, what I'll do is this can just kind of slot seamlessly into one of my other four sections if I want to turn it into an engineer um, like a, a, a combat engineer section So yeah, there's the, compl the completed flamethrower and I am tremendously happy with how that's turned out. As you can see the base is the, the, the sort of Stalingrad base that I'm, I'm doing at the moment. Um, I might actually get around to doing a, a, a sort of a, a tutorial on, on how I make these because I have actually changed the way I do my Stalingrad basing so it might be quite interesting just to do a, um, a bit of a how I make Stalingrad bases but there we go that is the finished finished piece and I am very happy with how that's turned out a very unique and welcome addition to my Stalingrad Germans well that I can honestly say that has been a thoroughly enjoyable little kit bash to work on not much time put in fact not much time went into the whole thing uh, there was the build uh, the painting and just the the basing not a lot of time in at all so um, nothing too involved but really very enjoyable to work on and I hope you've I hope you've enjoyed seeing how, how it went together I think sometimes with kit bashing videos actually seeing the pieces then the finished build then seeing it painted that I think that is the I think that's the the, the format and how I'm gonna f um, make any any future kit bashing videos so you can see it from the very concept right through to the um, the completed painted and based figure We've got any comments or questions about this or gaming or ball tax or kit bashing in general uh, just leave them down below in the comment section and i'll certainly respond to all comments and questions 
But as always, thanks for watching. Do take care, may the dice roll well, and I'll catch you all in the next video. So, bye-bye for now.